Hi, my name is Gavin Metz and I'm a fitness coach here at Gary Gilchrist Golf Academy. Today I have Alex with me and we're going to demonstrate a couple of exercises that you can do to help make sure that your hips fire in the proper manner. What we're trying to avoid is the hips firing up and out rather than down and across. To show this, we have Alex to demonstrate this is the proper way to do it. She's going to fire her hip down and across. Very good. The bad thing that we're trying to avoid, which a lot of junior golfers have a tendency to do, is to shoot them out away from the body and up. Very good, Alex. That can cause a lot of problems, a lot of bend in the spine, some pain in the low back, and as well as a little bit of issues with your arms uh, maintaining their plane in the golf swing. So to help alleviate this, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to have Alex jump down into a push-up position. From here, very good, she's going to make sure that her back isn't rounded. She's going to fire her knee for a knee drive as high up to her chest as possible and then extend it across the body. Very good. And then she's going to fire her low hip across. Very good. Very good. Thank you. The other leg, again, extended across the body and you can see the hip shooting across. This helps simulate proper hip mechanics with a stable upper body and a mobile lower body. Very good. The progression from here, once a student is able to do that with ease, is to then fire the knee and eliminate the leg extension. She then shoots it across the hip, hopefully getting the same hip extension as before. Very good. And then extends it all the way out. This helps make sure that her hips are going to work in the proper manner in the follow through and in the backswing. Very good, Alex. Perfect. The next exercise that she's going to do, she's going to hop down onto her back. All you need is a ball. You're going to set that hip height maybe a little bit higher and she's going to do the same thing, extending her arms with her upper body to make sure that her back stays stable and flat on the mat. She's then going to do a knee drive, fire it across the body till her knee is on top of the ball and then try and roll the ball forward. Very good. This helps make sure that the hips are going in the proper direction. Good. To show it from the other side, put the ball down, knee drive across the body and then you can see the ball rolls forward and her hips are working in the proper way. Again, stable upper body, mobile lower body. Very good. The last exercise that we have them do is a side plank with a knee drive. The reason we have people do a side plank with a knee drive is to make sure that they can hold their hips within posture in the body. We don't want them sliding left or right and this helps alleviate that. So she's going to hop into a side plank position, making sure that her hips are, are in the right position. And then again, knee drive up to the top and do this. Probably sets of five, ten, whatever's comfortable for the strength of the person that you're working with. Very good. These are three simple exercises to do to help with the hips and making sure that they're working in the proper way. 